Leave out the Babylon and look to the east Where we can find comforts and peace Trample the mark of the beast My lad Bondong Saddam, Bondong Saddam Bondong Saddam and Gomorrah Bondong Saddam, Bondong Saddam Babylon and Angle if you see tomorrow Bondong Saddam and you got a Bible. Right. Bible, that Bible is written by King James. Is that Bible written by King James? You ain't correct right there. Huh? Yeah, you wrong. You want me to prove it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You wrong. You read by English text. You wrong. I'm going to prove it. Tell him why you wrong. I'm going to tell you why you wrong. You dead wrong. First of all, first of all. You wrong. Brother, you at, you brought out a point and you incorrect. Now I got to correct the point. You can get the flaw back after I correct you, the mistake you made. You ain't got to be bent out of shape. Listen, don't get emotional, brother. Listen, let me tell you something. America, let me tell you something. America's a free country, man. Don't get upset with me because I want black people to get off of drugs and change their life. You don't like what I'm saying? You ain't got to get bent out of shape over that. America's a free country. Let me explain to you why you made a mistake. And, and, that's, and let me tell you something. That's why we can't learn. The first art of learning is when you make a mistake, you're going to have to listen for the rebuttal. You're going to have to see if what you're saying is right or wrong. I did let you speak. I gave you the flaw. I let you speak. But now you done made a mistake. So now I got to correct your mistake. And then you can get the flaw back after I correct your mistake. Every book. Every book that you read in English, including this book, doesn't mean that it was originally written in English. An English man did translate this book, but to translate a book does not mean you wrote the book. That's right. If I write a book in Chinese and somebody bring the book to America and translate the book into English, it don't mean they wrote the book. I still wrote the book. Right. They translated the book. That's right. King James ain't write nothing. That's, That's right. right. King James translated a book that was written in Hebrew. That's right. That's where you was wrong, brother. I said, See what I'm saying? Say, I said, why? I said, why are you being the King James Bible? I'll tell you why. That, now that, that that wasn't what you asked. That wasn't what you asked. But I went, that's not what you asked. No, it's not. You said, you said you are reading. I'm going to tell you what you said. I got it on film. I got it on film. You said uh, you are reading a book that was written by a white man. That's what you said. Now I done showed you it was not written by a white man. Now I'm going to show you that the book, though it was translated, why it's the best book. So for you to understand why this book is the best book, in translation, you must know and understand Hebrew. Stay on me, you. You must know and understand Hebrew. That's what you have to do. You got to know and understand Hebrew. This book was written in Hebrew. If you read Hebrew, you would know that King James is the only scholar that translated this book right. And let me tell you something else about King James. Let me tell you something else. Let me correct something else the brother said. Everybody believes that King James is a white man. I got news for you. You ready for the wake-up call? You ready for the wake-up call? King James was not a white man. King James of Scots was not a white man. I know you don't know that because you ain't been educated other than by the white man. But King James was not a white boy. King James was a black man. Don't you know, don't you know black people ruled Europe also? What do you think they called it the Dark Ages for? Because dark people was ruling Europe. That's, That's right. right. King James, King of Scots, was a black man. That's right. Not a white man. Why is it that King James is so demonized today? Anybody know? I know. See, you got to study to know these things. King James is such an enemy today because King James came against the Roman Catholic Church. King James translated this book because the Roman Catholic Church would not translate it out of the Latin. That's right. The book was written in Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. King James was trying to get the book to brothers and sisters like you and I. The Roman Catholic Church said, hell no. If you translate the book into English, 
everybody will read it and then they won't need us no more. They won't be subject unto us no more. So King James said to hell with that. I'm going to translate the book anyway. And when he translated the book and he came out with it, the Roman Catholic Church started putting out rumors, said he was a fag, said he was this, he was that. When if you open up the beginning of a King James Bible, it tells you the story of how he fought against the Roman Catholic Church. That's right. And let me tell you something, man. Anybody that bring out the Bible and fight against the Roman Catholic Church is somebody that's on God's side. Because the Roman Catholic Church is filled with child molesters. That's right. right. So, brother, the common history on King James, King of Scots, and King of England is wrong, brother. He was not a white boy. Not only was he not a white boy, you had a whole lot of black men rule Europe. Constantine was a black man. They ruled the Byzantine Empire. Okay? Septimius Severus, Septimius Severus, a black man, took over Rome in 323 AD. Anybody that study history know that black men ruled in Europe as well. After the Dark Ages, the white man started the Renaissance period. Anybody know why they call it the Renaissance period? It's called the Renaissance because the word Renaissance means rebirth. What does that mean? Meaning this, that they went out and got, they got artists like Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci. Why do you think them names are so famous today? Because the Roman Catholic Church, after the Dark Ages, got those scholars and had them paint paintings of white people as God, white people as the angels, white people as Jesus. That's how you got this painting. Give me that piece of wood down there. Listen, it got everything to do with it, brother. Let me tell you, you just have, you just.